Hi all. In this video, I am going to introduce some of your artificial intelligence chatbot tools. The first tool which I am going to list out now is called Perplexity. The URL is www.perplexity.ai. This is the interface. First, we have to be login. After this, we may get this kind of interface. Now, this is a space we have to ask the prompting or we can ask a questions here. Here I like to ask the questions like, as a teacher, how can I engage my students in the class? This is a question I like to be asked to the chatbot. After typing this, we can click this, the error mark. When you click this error mark, within a few seconds, we may get a wonderful responses from the perplexity AI. So now I got this perplexity AI results. And what is the good things which I found from here? We have yet citations. See, there is a citations, including the text citations available. And parallelly, that citation based references, it's available in the name is called sources here. And if you like to find the images relevant to this, the topic or that questions, if you click the search images, we can find out here uh, images relevant to the prompting. And similarly, there is a search videos also. Suppose we'd like to find some YouTube videos, we can go with this. And similarly, if you like to find some related things um, related to the prompting, which is also available. This is a share button, this is a redirect button, this is called uh, copy, this is for edit your query, like this lot of options are available. And one more thing is what I found from here, this is a tools related to, uh, connected with Copilot, it's a Microsoft Copilot based AI is working. If you enable it, you may connect it with the Copilot and you may get this response from the Copilot also. And other things what I found from here, here if you click this plus symbol, we have a attach images text. PDF um, per day we can upload any kind of documents and based on document we can also prompt it. So this is an advanced uh, feature which is available in the perplexity. Suppose you like to go for share, you can click the share and we have find the secret, shareable and Twitter we can share, copy link, WhatsApp, Facebook. Like this lot of options are available. Even if you like to like this, we have the like options. If you want to give me a title for the search results, we can give this title. Uh, according to me, it's a wonderful um, feature which is available in the case of Perplexity AI. The second tool which I like to list out here, pi.ai. The URL is pi.ai slash talk. Suppose I like to ask the prompting. As a teacher, how can I engage my classroom students? My classroom students. This is my prompting. When I click enter, within a fraction of seconds this chatbot is giving you responses so here's the wonderful responses available and uh, here what is the unique things which i found from here there is a uh, audio when you click this audio nearly six uh, eights are there each is having the different voice it may be read that content like this as a teacher there are lots this is an pa3 as a teacher there this is a pa4 as a teacher, there are lots of ways to engage your classroom students and the third one which I like to list out, it's called copy.a, copy.a. So once you log in with copy.a, the URL is called copy.a. After login, you may get this kind of interfaces. Then if you ask the prompting, we can ask the prompting here. As a teacher, how can I engage the students in the classroom? After typing this prompting, just we can click this. This button so within a few seconds we may get a wonderful results here now you can see that chatbot has started to writing your responses yeah so I got here 10 powerful tips for to engage the audience and uh, what are the things I found it from this uh, tools compared to all other things we have some attach option even we can upload some documents based on this document we can also the prompting and there's a browse prompt suppose we are not much familiar with prompting and all if you want to experience the browsing and we have a lot of browse prompting they provide like we may get some idea how to ask the prompting and all that is the options available and the other one which i found it better there is an editor option for example if you're asking a lot of prompting one prompting you want to copy and paste and do this some kind of editing work that also is possible suppose you are asking five or six prompting all the six prompting response you can paste it in the right side and we can do any kind of editing and finally we can compile and we can copy and paste into a word document and the fourth tool which I like to uh, list out here, writesonic.com, writesonic. First, we have to be logging with your Google credential. So this is the interface of writesonic. Uh, we have a lot of options like create a new document, create a, start a new chat and write an article. Like this, lot of purpose might working. In this, there is an option called chatsonic. So chatsonic is purely related to the 
chat purpose so when you click the chat zone it goes to the chat interface here you can ask any kind of uh, prompting so here i'm asking this prompting like previous prompting as a teacher how can i engage the student in the classroom after prompting just we can click this button when i click here within a few seconds uh, chat zone is giving me a wonderful responses yeah, now you can see the very powerful responses is given by the chat sonic. And here also there is an option called play. If you click this play, it's also going to start to read the content. And there is a copy. This is for regenerated results. Suppose you want to share, we have the share. Some other uh, setting option also available. Just you can get experience which is better for you. So now I move to the fifth uh, chatbot. This is called flowgpt.com. So I am really wonder while using this kind of flow, uh, flowgpt.com, the URL flowgpt.com. Why in the sense, in a single platform, we have nearly six uh, chatbots available. Suppose you like to go with the GPT-4, if I like to Lama 2 or Google Palm 2 or chat GPT 3.5 or Pi Gimalian 13B, like this, we have nearly six chatbots available. Suppose I like to discuss with the Google Palm 2, then go with a chat a now and uh, you can ask the prompting after ask the prompting we can click this here when i click this here within a few seconds uh, the a started to give you responses so the single platform we can access nearly six chatbot that is the advantages while using a flow gpt.com now you can see the flow gpt suppose you like to go with this chapter gpt4 we can go with the gpt4 and we can ask the same kind of prompting in down and the next tool which I like to discuss, gravityright.com. This is an URL, gravityright.com. So after login to gravityright.com, and we can go for a prompting. Here we have a lot of options available like a blog tool, social media tool, YouTube tools, SEO tools, advertising tools, writing assistant. So for the lot of purposes, maybe helping you, even for if you like to block title generator, block uh, content generator, for all the purposes working. And uh, if you want to be write a blog based some kind of information so you can go with it. suppose i like to go with the youtube tools when you go to the youtube tools we have the option called descriptions and pack suppose i need to prepare a youtube related to artificial intelligence if i want a description we can generate a description here so the uh, title of youtube video a in education i'm just giving this a in education and after this create a content within a few seconds we may get a youtube video descriptions is provided by gravity right this way this tools to be unique and uh, we have to make some kind of materials related to website creations or email for all the purposes it will be helping to a lot and the next tool which i like to highlight now uh, cloudy.ai cloudy c l a u d dot a i so uh, this is a tool same like pi.ai or real perplexity so the prompting we have to ask in this area, like start a new chat area. Then after that, we have to ask the prompting. After prompting, just to give this enter. When you press the error mark, we may get a wonderful responses. So see here, a lot of shortcuts are available, like shift backspace or commands key. So based on the laptop which you are using, it's giving some kind of shortcuts also. And here, still is producing content. See, they engage the students and active learning. It's producing wonderful insights to you. From this, we may get a lot. And if you want to copy and if you want to retry, we can use this kind of options. There is a like and dislike options also available. And the next one, which I like to highlight you, you.com. You.com. So this is another uh, chat, chatbot services. It's connected with uh, GPT-4 also. If you like to ask the prompting, we can ask the prompting this area, the prompting area. After this, click this enter or we can press this arrow mark. And when I click this arrow mark, the same like other tools is also providing a wonderful uh, results and the right side you may find out uh, this one like like dislike also and apparently we may get a source that is an advantage is here because most of the chat bot it's not providing a citation but see here it is giving the text citation along with the references the sources also available the year ago and you may get some kind of reading material suppose you want to ex uh, explore more about this area we can click it some kind of suggested reading material also we can be able to find it from here and this is a copy this is for the try again this for like and dislike this much features are available same like other chatbot services and the next one is a bing bing.com even the you know the bing is a search engines provided by microsoft in the bing itself there is a chat options when you click the chat the home page of bing 
we are finding this uh, chat interface then we can ask any prompting in the chat interface so now it is a chatting interface suppose write out this prompting here i can ask the prompting here and ask a teacher how i engage the students in the classroom so then go with submit and when you click submit the uh, microsoft bing chat is started to providing a materials to me and the next tool which already film is called board board.com um, so for this we had to go with the board.google.com this is a google product so uh, if you like to ask the prompting go to the enter prompt here we can ask the prompting this area and there is a, a submit button when you press the submit or give this enter it, all, it started to produce here materials the same like other chatbot services now the bot google also is providing here it's produced the result and with uh, the proper some kind of url also providing there is a like dislike as well as the share export if you like to download a cm uh, docs google docs is possible if you want to draft into a mail it's possible if you want to share as a link it's possible suppose you want to find some kind of google search also it's possible to do this and if you go with this there's a copy and report legal issues like this lot of options are providing and other than this most of the chatbot is giving only one draft but this is a chatbot services giving the three drafts at a stretch therefore which draft you want to be used you can use it uh, without going for a refresh or without going to regenerate because this only bot is providing a three drops uh, at a stretch in a single prompting itself and the other tool which i like to discuss is called chat open.ai this is nothing but chat gpt because most of the people you are already aware of it this is 3.5 is a free version to all of us if you like to go with the chat gpt4 version we can go with a paid one and now the chat gpt is uh, started to think about to uh, go to the next level 4.5 that's also I found some of the materials uh, recently. The 4.5 having more uh, features compared to the 3.5 and 4. So hope in very soon we may get the 4.5 also. This is an area for the prompting. So here we can ask the prompting. After this, we have to press this enter or send messages. When you click send messages, it's also producing a wonderful results. Suppose you want to get a citation, we can ask a specific uh, citation references. It's asking, it's giving a citation prompting. I mean, citation as the reference also based on the prompting only is going to give the responses and uh, the next tool which i like to highlight huggingface.co hugging face uh, the url is called huggingface.co and this is an interface once you log in with your google account or you can create a uh, username and password after this we have to ask this area ask anything area we can ask the prompting after the prompting uh, or the questions we have to go for the star error mark button or we can go with the enter so within a few seconds it's also producing a wonderful results like this and the last uh, chatbot which i like to discuss in this video forefriend.a forefriend.a uh, once you log in with your google account we have the option 3.5 uh, it's providing 3.5 chat gpt services this is an area for chat prompting area and uh, prompting area this is message option even we have the option called upload file is the recent file option as an option like this some of the options are also available once you ask the prompting or ask the questions here go to the send messages when you click the send messages within a few seconds the same like other tools is also providing materials so here we have the option like copy this is called create a thread this is called delete suppose you like to go with this other one you can go with the data and you can go for generate the other one this is in gpt4 gpt4 and even it's connected with the cloudy instant 1.2 cloudy 2 and forefront also it's uh, connected with this like this this providing nearly one two three four five chatbot services in a single tool so hope this all the videos might useful for you so in this video i'm discussing nearly 12 chatbot services which is provided with different uh, platforms so you can think about the chatbot here after it's called subject expert so if you have any doubts according to the subject or according to your research you can ask to any uh, chatbot which we discussed now and only one suggest to all of you don't go for only one chatbot can, can, at least you can use five or six chatbot because each chatbot is giving a different answer from the five responses or five chatbot responses you can come for one conclusion therefore kindly treat this all chatbot as a subject experts so thank you so much to watch this video bye we will meet in the next video bye